Hey everyone, this is the Loose Cannon, David McBee. Welcome to what should be an exciting day of basketball here at the Arvest Tournament as we are getting ready to cover the Consolation Championship game starting off. Girls, Alpine and Jasper, stay tuned here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Hey everyone, we're still about eight minutes away from tip-off of our first game. This is going to be a quadruple header. We got four games going today. Uh, our first game is going to be Alpina and Jasper. It should be a really good one to start the day. Uh, this is for the Consolation Championship Bracket victory. Uh, Alpina and Jasper in about seven minutes. Those people tuning in, make sure you reach down, hit that share button, tag people. Let's see if we can get some, a lot of people tuning in. We got four championship games here today at the Arvest Tournament. Uh, it should be a great day. I'm going to be flying solo. The one and only uh, Joey the Dragon Shaw, uh, unable to be here today. He's having to work, so I'm going solo. So, guys, uh, no complaints about the camera, the shoddy camera work and the scoreboard work. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to be the one-man band. But it's going to be a lot of fun. And I want to throw a quick shout out to my friend uh, Joey Shaw last night uh, broadcasting the Cotter game. That was a bonus game that we did last night and appreciate him doing that. So we were able to uh, to see my daughter win the homecoming crown last night, which was really cool. So really appreciate that. I want to throw a shout out to Joey. Thanks, man. Uh, but we're we're about uh, about six and a half minutes away. I'm going to mute the mics for a little bit. So I know there's going to be no sound. Just hang tight, and uh, we'll be back for some basketball, uh, exciting basketball, starting very shortly.
All right, everyone, we are getting ready to get started. This is going to be our first game of four here at the Arvest Tournament. Uh, this first game is Alpina and Jasper here for the Consolation Bracket Championship. Uh, all those people tuning in, reach down, tag as many people as you can. Uh, let's get as many people to tune in as we can tonight. Uh, appreciate it. Looks like Sarah Marshall just tagged in a bunch of people. So appreciate uh, Sarah tagging in people as we are doing the uh, starting lineups. And I'm going to have to watch it. I keep saying this evening, you know, this evening, this afternoon, this is morning. Uh, our uh, Scott Ramos, he just got caught doing the same thing. So that makes me feel better. I'm not the only one to say that. So everyone listening in, uh, let me know, hey, if the sound's okay, because uh, I'm a one-man band today. So uh, let me know if the sound's okay and how everything's going. And guys, here we get going. This is the Arvest Tournament. First game of four today. This should be an exciting day of basketball. Starting off here early in the morning, just like we did last Saturday. It's been a busy week for TLSN. We've done 12 games in the last week. After today, it'll be actually it'll be 18. We did two more last night and then four today. So 18 games in the last week here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. So guys, yeah, give me a shout out. Let me know if the uh, audio is working okay, guys. As Jasper gets the initial tip, ball is stolen by Alpina. Couple loose balls back and forth to start us off. Of course, it's early in the morning. If uh, Joey the Dragon's out there watching, uh, give me a thumbs up if the audio sounds all right. As ball goes off Jasper to Alpina. So Alpina, this is our first time getting to cover the uh, Lady Leopards. Here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. This should be a good game between these two teams. Long three-point shot by Alpina. Nothing but net right off the bat. As Alpina gets off to an early three to nothing lead. And Jasper comes right back. And that didn't take long for our first time out of the game. We're only about a minute in. Right now it's three to two. Alpina. As we got a 30 second timeout on the court. And guys, again, thank you everyone who's been tuning in this week. Um, it's been a lot of fun here at the Arvest Tournament. Uh, it's been, this is our second year getting to cover this tournament. We are glad to be back. Uh, well, shout out to uh, Flippin. Uh, they've done some great work on tech, allowing us to be able to stream these games. So uh, say, say thank you to the Flippin Tech people. We couldn't do it without it, them as we go back to action on the court. And I know Arvest Bank, glad to be a sponsor of this tournament. They've done it for several years now. And a, another bucket by Alpina. So Alpina's offense rolling early, up five to two. Ball stolen, ball on the ground. A lot of loose balls here early in the first minute. This number 13 is Hill inbounding it. 
She gets it in up at the free throw line. Wide open shot. No good. Loose ball. Hill comes away with it. Gets it out to Dietrich. Dietrich, long shot. No good. Rebound by number 23, Flood. A loose ball. It's stolen. Pass up ahead. And the layup is good for Hill. So Alpina running and gunning here in the first quarter. Up 7-2 to here early as we got a timeout on the court. Full timeout. And guys, we couldn't cover this tournament without our great sponsors. Great sponsors like Premier Auto Interior, specializing in velour, vinyl, and leather repair and dye processing. 15 years experience. Our good friend Phil Hudnell, Premier Auto Interiors, and Razorback Ribs, Burgers, Barbecues, and Catering in Yellville, 449-7427. Uh, Razorback Ribs in Yellville and now, just recently, in Harrison. And Ashley Haven State Farm. She's got locations in Mountain Home and Flippin'. Give her a call for all your insurance needs or check her out online at www.ashleywhavens.com as we are 546 here in the first quarter. Jasper down 7-2. to two. Alpina coming out running and gunning. Alpina showing a press. Turnover caused by Alpina. And we got a foul on the play. Looks like the foul's on Lewis. That's her first personal. Is Dietrich at the line for two. First free throw rolls in and out. Second free throw, no good. Jasper gets the board. Of course, guys, I might not have my usual energy today. Uh, my daughter had homecoming last night, and uh, so I didn't get much sleep. So I got a couple energy drinks trying to get my uh, blood flowing here early this morning. So it might take me a game or two to be my normal, super loud, enthusiastic self. But I'll tell you what, these are two games that you want to be enthusiastic for because these are some teams that can flat out play. This is going to be some good basketball today between Jasper and Alpina. Shot is up. Cook gets the bucket. Fouls on number 11, Dietrich. So ja so Alpina now up 9-2 to two early. Alpina's press causing some havoc here in the opening minutes. Side shot at 10 by Emerson. No good. Ball knocked out of bounds off Jasper. So Alpina... They try a little give and go inside, not there. Pass and shot. Cook with the bucket. Since it now it's eleven to two. Pass off Emerson. Actually, it looks like it was knocked out by Alpina, so Jasper's going to retain possession as we have some subs coming in. Eleven-two, opening quarter, our first of sixteen quarters, maybe more if you have overtime. They go inside to Hill, who is fouled. 
fouls on number 40, Daniels. So Daniels now going to the line. And guys, uh, people watching first time, this is an interactive broadcast. So make sure you can go in. You could tag, share. There might be grandparents or someone, anyone that has Facebook can watch this all across the country. So make sure you share it. Uh, shout out to the over 20,000 people that have tuned into our game so far this week. As the second free throw is good. One to two from uh, from Hill from the line. As the Alpina press here early, causing some havoc, but Jasper gets it over. Ball's knocked off of Alpina. So Jasper setting up. Trying to get something going on offense. Down 10 here in the first quarter. Lob inside. Good pass. Shot no good. Rebound by Daniels. No good. Alpina comes away with it. Lady Leopards looking up the court. Long three-point shot. Almost goes in. As the uh, Lady Leopards retain possession, 342 left here in the first quarter. Drive, shot up, and good by Hill. Good lob ahead, right now 14 to two. Shot from the corner, no good. Rebound by Alpina. That's Dietrich. They're pushing the pace. Good lead pass ahead, and a foul is committed on the play. Looks like the foul is on number 12, Henderson. That's her first personal. As the free throw by Armour is good. Second free throw is good. Both free throws good. As Alpina now backing off a little bit on defense. Steal on the play, but Jasper steals it right back. Dietrich got the steal, but then Dietrich uh, loses it, commits the foul. That's her second here in the first quarter. This ball knocked away. Alpina with some defensive pressure. It is stolen by Dietrich who gets it ahead. Beautiful steal, pass and finish. Armor gets the bucket. Foul on Brazel. That's her first personal. And Armor completes the three-point play. So Alpina off to a hot start here in the championship game. Looks like foul's going to be on Dietrich. They say no foul. Ball just knocked out of bounds, so no foul on the play. So good good play by Alpina. It's the uh, Lady Pirates here. Look to go inside. They were trying to get it into number 10 Reynolds and foul on the play. Foul on number 12, Cook. That's her first personal. As Lewis looking to drive, shots up, no good. Rebound by Hill. 
Hill looks to lob it inside. Good defensive play by Jasper. As we're under two minutes, Jasper trying to get a couple buckets here. Lewis for three, no good. Rebound by Phillips. Ball out of bounds. So Alpina with possession here. Up 19 to 2 here in the first quarter. Alpina with some stifling defense. Long three point shot out of the corner. No good. Rebound and put back. So, Rodas with the two-point shot. Max into 21-2. Lewis drives. Nice dish underneath. She gets that into Emerson, who's fouled. It looks like Debbie Spencer said, thank you for broadcasting. Had to come to Texas, so we can't be there to watch my boys play. So, Debbie, we are glad. We are more than happy to broadcast today. So, stay tuned. We will be uh, airing games all day long. Of course, like you mentioned, Mountain Home Christian Academy. Yeah, we will have that game on later now. That will be a different link. And it uh, looks like Brenda Daniels says, go Pirates. And looks like Cotter Warrior head coach, uh, Lady Warrior head coach, uh, Jared Wilhite. So Henderson hits one of two. And, of course, I'm a one-man band, so running a little behind on camera there as I'm trying to change the scoreboard. <laughs> Lob inside for Hill. Hill goes up. Shot no good. Rebound by number 22, Emerson. As Jasper now gets possession back. Under 50 seconds left. But, yeah, Brenda Daniels says, go Pirates. Emily Willis says, let's go Lady Pirates. So, Lady Pirate fans trying to get their team fired up right now. Rebound shot, no good. Still loose ball. And the bucket is good. The bucket, the bucket is good by Jasper. So, that pulls them within 21 to 5 here in the first. 19 seconds left. So, guys, appreciate everyone tuning in. It's been a fun week of basketball coverage here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Of course, some great local businesses have really helped us out, like Taylor's Freeze King in Gasville. Uh, swing by or give them a call. Call in. They'll have your order ready to pick up. Go get a burger, ice cream, great stuff from Taylor's Freeze King. And Mountain Home Family Chiropractic, Dr. Charles Osgood, 425-4424. He knows how to work your back out. Uh, go see Dr. Charles Osgood for all your chiropractic needs. I'm going to need him to work on my back after this week. Uh, by the time we're done, we'll do almost 30 hours of broadcasting, and my back is just shot. But we're having a lot of fun. Right now, under 10 seconds, Alpina trying to get a shot in here to end the first quarter. Kick to the outside. Alpina doesn't get the shot off. So at the end of the first quarter, it has been all Alpina here early here at the Arvest Tournament. Right now 21 to 5 here in the first quarter. As we're going to run a couple sponsor ads and uh, mute the mics. We'll be right back in just a couple minutes.
Here we go, start second period. Steal right away by Lewis. Shot no good, gets her own rebound. Goes in with the left hand, and the bucket is good by Lewis. It's 21 to seven. Here in the second quarter, so the Lady Pirates right off the bat getting a steal and a bucket. And now 7.41 left here in the second quarter on our Shark Creek graphics uh, clock and our Marion County Farm Bureau scoreboard. Good friend Joey Sample and our good friends at Shark Creek graphics. Good pass inside as Dietrich gets the bucket now 23 to 7. So Alpina's offense rolling here early in the morning. As Susie Taylor says, let's go Leopard. Steal on the play. Dietrich with the left hand. Dietrich has just been in fuego in this first half. They've jumped out now 25-7. They go into Lewis. Lewis working hard. Gets the bucket. As Lewis getting a little rhythm here in the second quarter. It's like fouls on number 40, Daniels. That's her second personal. Shout out, I got the G-Dog joining me here as a bucket by Alpina, by Cook. Nice move by Emerson, gets the bucket. So both offenses... Getting rolling right now, 27-11, 6.15 left here in the second quarter. Of course, our first of uh, four games, as Hill just powers her way inside, draws the foul, and gets the bucket. It's like the foul is on Emerson. That's her first. Free throw, no good. Daniels pulls away the board. 18-point lead by Alpina in the first half. Lewis. Lewis takes it in and gets the bucket. So now Jasper's offense starting to get a little rhythm here in this second quarter. They tried lobbing inside. Good defensive play by Jasper. That was number 34, Brazel. Gets in front of it, knocks it out of bounds. Of course, those people tuning in, too. Hey, tag in the school. Tag in whoever you can. Uh, let people know they can watch this game live. A lot of people might not know we're doing this game live, so get the word out. It's a three-point shot by Cook. So this is your chance to watch Alpina and Jasper here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. And I uh, got the uh, G-Dog joining me here right now. Uh, he helped us out last year with this tournament. Appreciate him coming out and helping us again today. Don't know how long we'll have him, but we appreciate all the help we can get with him. So. Of course, G-Dog, uh, he's on break from, from school right now. Little Thanksgiving play. Good defensive play. Jasper steps out in front. Shot no good. Good play by Reynolds. She couldn't finish the shot. Lewis got the board and is, or I'm sorry, actually that's Emerson got the board and is fouled. But those people watching online, let us know if there's a certain player that you're here cheering for watching. Give us a shout out. We'll give him a shout out on air. Is Jasper trying to uh, work their way back in this game here in the first half after a big first quarter by Alpina? 
So Emerson, she hits both shots. As we're under five minutes left here in the first half. We'll go inside to Rodas. Rodas, it's stolen. Now the Lady Pirates down 17. Need a couple buckets. Long three-point shot by Reynolds is no good. As Hill bringing it down. Drive inside, foul on the play, and the bucket's going to count. Foul's on flood, points Dietrich gets the bucket. As uh, Dietrich going to the line, of course. And the call is on flood, that's her first. Dietrich completes the, nope, does not, it rolls in and out. So now rebound coming the other way. 34 to 15 here in the first half. It's the Lady Pirates. Long three point shot off the back of the rim. Battle for the board. Hill comes away with it. Gets it to Dietrich. Back to Hill. They've been both of them off to really hot starts in this game. Pass from Phillips out of bounds. As Lewis, head number 23, Flood, bringing it down. And now 34-15. Alpina needing some a couple buckets to get back into it. They go inside to Emerson. So fouls on Hill. That's her second personal. So Emerson going to the line. For a one-on-one -on -one shot. Looks like Linda Lewis joined us online. She says, go Lady Pirates. So, And Wendy Lynn says, Amelia Cook giving a shout out. So appreciate you guys. And hey, if you're watching, tag in someone to watch the game. You might want to see it. Now 34-15. As walking it up the court is Hill. Well, just under three minutes left here in the first half of action. Shot is no good. Strong rebound by Cook, who is fouled. So, Wendy Lynn's got to like that play. Fouls on number 34, Brazel. That's her third personal. As Cook goes to the line, first shot off the front of the rim. No good. Of course, some good basketball all this week here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Uh, 18 total games in one week. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed tuning in. As Cook hits the second free throw. So Alpina now up 20, 35-15, under three minutes. As Lewis gets it outside, three-point shot attempt, no good by Flood, out of bounds. Here, our first game of the morning. You don't get to say that too often. At least I'm doing a better job. I kept saying evening all the time last time as... Rodas takes it in and is fouled. Looks like the foul is going to be on number 23, Flood. That's her second. 
Jasper calls a timeout right now. Two minutes, 19 seconds left here in the first half of action. Of course, uh, we want to give a quick shout out this week. Uh, you know, it was, this was pretty cool. Actually, it was last week. Uh, homecoming here and flipping. Uh, flipping in their hallways did a logo, did a thing for homecoming saying Bobcat Basketball brought to you by the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Thought that was pretty cool. That They got our logo spot on. I got to tell you, Joey the Dragon Shaw was very happy. Uh, he's like, man, that whoever drew that is a pretty good uh, artist. Uh, but appreciate the shout out from some of the flipping students here over in flipping. Of course, flipping playing for the championship. Last game of the day, senior boys. Uh, it should be a good one right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. So all those Bobcat fans, you're going to want to tune in. It should be a, it should be a slobber knocker late here in the afternoon as uh looks like Susie taylor uh looks like she's uh of course like she's cheering uh amelia cook uh so uh appreciate the shout out i'm sure she appreciates that uh christina smith says let's go pirates so the pirate fans are out they're trying to get their team fired up and get them to come back here in this first half of action right now down 20 but still a long way to go here in this game free throw by rodas is no good As uh, gets another shot. This was a two two shots. Shot no good. Board pulled down by number 34 Brazel. As Jasper trying to work their way back in the game. Two minutes left. Need to get a couple buckets. Maybe try to get it down to 15 by half. Alpina forces a turnover. Rodas comes away with it. As Hill and Dietrich on the outside. They go inside to Rodas who misses it. Lewis pulls down the board. Pass way ahead. That was attempted uh, for number 15, Sexton. Off her hand, out of bounds. One twenty-five left in the first half. Of course, immediately after this, we will have another uh, game stream going. Uh, we do a separate uh, stream for each game, so be sure to keep tuning in. For a full slate of basketball. They try going inside. Balls knock loose. It's like we're going to have a jump ball. So possession is going to go to Jasper. The Lady Pirates. And now under one minute to go. Like our clock keeps moving on us. So we'll adjust that again. Right now, actually, under 50 seconds left. Shot from the uh, free throw line, no good. Rebound by Rodas. Right now, 35 seconds to go in the first half. Oh, good play by Daniels. Knocks it loose. So, under 20 seconds, Jasper looks like they're going to be trying to get a bucket here as Lewis drives, slices. And a jump ball was the call. So, good defensive play by Alpina. Now, 10 seconds to go. Going to try to get a shot up here at the end of the quarter. Hill drives. Shot no good. Rebound. Rodas. Two-point shot, no good. So as we go to the half, this first half, it was all Alpina up 35 to 15, but we still got a long ways to go. Uh, we're going to mute the mics, run some sponsors for a bit, and be right back in about 10 minutes here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Thank you for joining us on this Saturday morning.
All right, guys, we are back to action on the court for the second half. This is third quarter, Alpina and Jasper. Alpina came out running and gunning in that first quarter, got a big lead, and they get a steal here on the first play. For the Consolation Bracket Championship here at the Arvest Tournament. The Lady Leopards have been just putting the pressure on. Kick outside, long three-point shot. No good. Hill gets the board. They call her with the travel, so possession now back to Alpina. 7.32 here in the third quarter on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Appreciate everyone joining us here on a Saturday morning of basketball. As Jasper trying to work their way back in. Alpina got off to a quick 7 to nothing lead and have led throughout. Rebound by Hill. Gets it ahead to Rodas. Wide open layup. Misses it. Is fouled from behind by Lewis. Jasper with a timeout on the floor about 56 seconds in. Looks like that's going to be Lewis's second personal. Uh, immediately after this, we will end this particular game stream. And immediately after this, it's going to be Jasper versus the Mountain Home Christian Academy. So if you're watching this stream, don't panic when it comes to an end. If you're wanting to watch that next game, all you have to do is just uh, – uh, stay on our page, go to it, and we will have an another game immediately after this. But, uh, guys, quick shout-out. We've had now, uh, we checked our numbers for the week, 21,000 people have tuned in to watch our games here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. It's been a fun week of basketball. appreciate all you guys. You guys helped us put us over 100,000 views uh, this year on the different uh, events that we have covered here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. And, guys, uh, uh, we couldn't do it without each and every one of you guys here uh, at the Twin Lakes Sports Network. We appreciate it. We've covered volleyball, basketball, football, even the world of professional wrestling. And speaking of professional wrestling, tonight in Harrison, I'm not going to be able to be there because I'm here doing the Arvest Tournament, but I'm wearing my Mid-States Wrestling colors. Uh, tonight, big event at Mid-States Wrestling. Uh, the Space Cowboy, Jason Jones, and all of them, they put on a fantastic jo uh, show. Very family-friendly event. As the first free throw is good by Alpina. I wrote his second free throw up, in and out. No good. Rebound by Jasper. But a uh, shout-out to that group, uh, Mid-States Wrestling. They had a show last Sunday, Super Sunday in, in Springfield. Now they are back in Harrison tonight. Uh, still by Rhoda. She gets it out to Dietrich. Jasper gets it back. They're going to get a double dribble on Emerson. But a great show they put on last week. And then less than a week later, putting on another show in Harrison. Tonight is fan appreciation night. We just hate that we can't be there. But we know uh, the fans here really want us covering this Arvest tournament. We've covered it all week. And we got to follow it all the way through to the end. Uh, but we'll definitely be back for any future events that they're going to do. As uh, Jason Jones, great organization with Mid-States Wrestling. Throw ahead, wide open layup by Cook, gets the bucket. And Alpina pulling away in these first couple minutes. Jasper needing a little run. Trying to get back into it. As nice drive and finish by Henderson. And that's exactly what Jasper needed. Right now they're within 21. They're going to just need to chip away on this lead and try to come back here in the second half of action. But uh, Mid-States Wrestling, go over there, uh, buy your tickets, go tonight. It starts events at 7 o'clock, doors open at 6. Uh, tell them the Twin Lakes Sports Network sent you. 
As shot is up, attempt by Dietrich, no good. Fouls on Lewis, that's her third personal. 534 left here in the third. As it is championship day, of course, later tonight, the uh, Razorbacks are taking on the uh, number one team in the country, LSU. So it'll be interesting. Uh, since the uh, coaching change with uh, Coach Chad Morris, uh, will be interesting to see how that game goes this evening. And uh, talk about thrown in the fire, very first game, going to be taken on since that departure. Uh, taking on the number one team in the country. So a lot going on in the world of sports here in Arkansas this week. Of course, uh, G-Dog's here with me. He was telling me, I guess, Hendricks has a big game later today. Or Harding has a big game later today. My bad. Uh, Rodis gets the bucket. So, so much going on, including this awesome tournament. Drive by Jasper, no good. Reynolds working hard down low and is fouled. Fouled during the shot. Fouls on number four, Rodis. That's her second personal. As Daniel now goes to the line, looks like uh, Dylan Conley's joined us online. Uh, appreciate DC coming out and doing a game. He kind of saved me during the Cotter game. I was doing that game solo and was having some uh, massive technical issues. I gave him about two and a half minutes notice, and he just jumped in and said, I'll do whatever to help out. But, man, appreciate that from D.C. Drive inside hill. Shots no good. A lot of contact, no call on that play. As they call number 22 Emerson with the foul. Uh, that's her second personal. Looks like Katie uh, online says still rooting for our Lady Pirates, Pirates Nations. Hey, still a lot of time left. We've already seen a couple big come behind victories here at the Arvest Tournament. So it's like Lenny Kravitz said in his song, hey, baby, it ain't over till it's over. But Jasper, if they're wanting to come back, need to get a couple buckets quick. Lewis from downtown. That's exactly what the doctor ordered for Jasper. They need a couple more of those as now they have narrowed it down to 20, trying to climb back. Need some defensive stops. Loose ball on the ground. Rodas comes away with it and hits the shot. Nice pickup and finish. Now extends it back to a 22-point game with three minutes and 50 seconds left. Of course, Pirate Nation, guys, you're going to want to stay tuned right and for the very next game because right after this, we're going to have the, uh, the senior boy Jasper team. They're going to be taking on, as Reynolds goes up with the shot, they're going to be taking on Mountain Home Christian Academy uh, for the Consolation Championship here at the Arvest Tournament. So, uh... Tag in all the people for the very next game. We got two pirate games on out of our four today. So Jasper well represented on this last day of the Arvest tournament. As Emerson hits the first free throw. Second free throw rolls in. And we're looking at 44-24. Nice drive. Beautiful dish to Rodas, who finishes. As Jasper continues to extend their lead. Of course, those people tuning in, guys, uh, with the Twin Lakes Sports Network, if this is your first time joining us and you haven't done it yet, Make sure you reach down, uh, hit that like button, go to our page, like our page, follow our page. And we have a complete basketball season coverage. We're going to be covering games all throughout the season throughout North Central Arkansas. So follow our page and you can uh, we share our schedule each week. And then also 
uh, you know, whenever you get notification when we go live with the ball game. So uh, make sure that you follow us, like us, all those people tuning in. Hey, interactive broadcast here. Make sure that you uh, share our, this uh, link. Reach down, hit that share button. That way, tag all the Jasper fans you know, Alpina fans. Tag all the Panther fans you know, or Leopard fans. I apologize. Uh, tag all the fans out there and get them to tune in. This is their chance to watch the game live. So I know last year we were covering this game. There was a player from Deer that got ejected, or a fan. It was funny because then he went out and was sitting in the parking lot and watching it online. So uh, many uses here of the Twin Lakes Sports Network as now Jasper inbounds it as we go almost to the three-minute mark. And I need to get our logo out there so we can see what we're doing. Bucket good by Flood. Is Jasper trying to uh, chip their way back in? Hill drives and is fouled. Fouled while shooting, so she will be going to the line. Fouls on Emerson. That's her third personal. As Hill hits the first free throw. Second free throw, rolls around and goes down. Now 22-point lead. They go inside, strong move by Reynolds, gets the bucket. Looks like the foul's on number 10, Reynolds. That's her first personal. Team's fifth on the floor, so no free throws coming. Still got two to give before shooting free throws. Three-point shot up from Alpina. Hill gets the board. They go inside. Hill is fouled. Looks like the foul's going to be on Reynolds. They say it was in the act of shooting, so going to the line is Hill. Hill hits the first one. Alpina now up 21. Second shot, no good. Jasper... Need a little run here to try to work their way back in the game as we're almost to the fourth quarter. Looks like the foul is going to be on Hill. Uh, that's Hill's third personal. They get in the corner. M er. Lewis, long three-point shot, long. Out of bounds, Alpina. Now we'll get the ball back. 148 left here in the third. And, of course, one of the refs down there, that's uh, Jason Kincaid. Of course, Kincaid Insurance in Mountain Home. Uh, give him a holler. Uh, great guy, former Mountain Home Bomber. And speaking of the Bombers, they had two big victories this week, including a victory over a team ranked number 19 in the entire country. Shot is up. No good. Loose ball. It's pulled down by Emerson. She gets it back to Lewis. Lewis brings it up a minute and 15 seconds. And she gets the bucket. Lewis gets the steal, takes it four on one in. Doesn't get the bucket. Foul 
as Rodas gets the board, or good rebound, actually, number 23, that's Flood, comes away with it. And Lewis bringing it down the other way. And a fast moving uh, game here early as we're under a minute. Lewis takes it in, draws the foul. Shot does not go. And is going to the line, number 22, Emerson. As our uh, clock keeps moving, our clock camera keeps moving on us. So, uh, hopefully we got that put back in place. It's just not wanting to stay still this morning. As the first free throw is hit by Emerson, now Jasper within 18. This is the closest they've been able to get so far in this second half. Second free throw, no good. Hill comes away with it. So Jasper offense playing much better here in the third quarter, just unable to get closer then 18, need to make a little run. As it looks like Alpina is going to be content to hold for the final shot. Now down less than 10 seconds, Hill. The lefty takes it in, kicks it to the corner. Back to Hill, three seconds left. In the corner, I think that's Phillips. So after the third quarter, right now it is uh, Alpina 49 Jasper 31 up 18. We got eight minutes to go here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. And of course, uh, we're just glad to be covering this tournament, guys. Uh, it's just been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, of course, guys, we couldn't do it without our sponsors. And speaking of uh, sponsors, we're always looking for sponsors. Uh, of course, we've done some upgrades. We got some better equipment. We got a clock now, even though we can't get it to stay still right now. But we got a score camera. <laughs> scoreboard camera but uh you know we're still looking for a uh, business spots available uh give us a holler uh and that way uh you know we, we bought a lot of equipment we're trying to pay off our equipment uh we appreciate any sponsors we can get that helps us be able to give more coverage uh we're not doing this to make a lot of money off it we just want to try to provide some local sports coverage so private message us and we'll give you details we got a special we're running for basketball I mean, think about it. This last week, we've done 18 games. We're going to probably end up over 25,000 viewers when it's done. Uh, you know, a lot of potential. If you got a business, give us a holler. We would appreciate any sponsorships that we can get here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. As we are down to the fourth quarter, first game, eight minutes to go. Will Alpina be able to bring home the consolation championship? Here in our first game of the evening, I'm going to mute my mic for a minute because I need a chug of energy drink. It's going to be a long day. Right, now I got a little little energy juice in me, so we'll see what we can go as Hall, or Hill takes it in, goes to the left hand. Beautiful play by Hill. Is now Alpina back up 20. Looks like ball is off Alpina. Uh, that was number 15 Sexton trying to make a move. Get it over to Cox. Cox goes inside. Back to the outside. Long three-point shot off the front of the rim. No good. Alpina gets the board. Hill is all wrapped up. Fouls on Brazel. That's her fourth personal with 7.01 left here in the fourth. Hill. 
So it looks like Hill now going to the line for a one-on-one -on -one shot. All right, apparently on our thing, I accidentally put Arvest Bank Tournament Consolation instead of Consolation. Uh, it, looks, it looks like it did an autocorrect on me, so uh, I can't edit that. It looks like we had someone uh, text that to someone, sent it to me. Guys, I can't change it now that the game's live, but I'll go in. Uh, apparently, I didn't realize that's what happens when you're a one-person crew trying to set it up. So, uh, misspelling on there, guys. I apologize. Uh, we'll go in and get it edited later. I uh, didn't realize that Facebook did an auto-correction on it and changed it to con consultation and <laughs> consolation. Long three-point shot. No good. But uh, appreciate the correction on that. Looks like fouls on number 12. Fouls on Cook. And Bucket is good, so Bucket by Jasper. As three-point play attempt by Cox, no good. It's right now 53 to 33. Long three-point shot, no good. That was attempted by Cox. Has foul on the play, 445 left. Foul's on number 15, Sexton. That's her first personal. Alpina up 20 as we're under five minutes. As first free throw attempt is up and good by Cook. Second free throw, no good. Rebounded, one and two from the line. All right, possession now back to Alpina. Alpina of 21, barring a barrage of points here by Jasper. Looking like Alpina is going to come away with the championship. Uh, crazy things have happened in the game of basketball, but Alpina just on a roll today. They came to play. Long three-point shot three by Cook. Now extends it to 24, largest lead of the night, or the morning. <laughs> See, that was my first reference to it not it being nighttime. So, so I, I've I've called it night. Um, apparently, Facebook did an auto correction and changed it to consultation instead of consolation. So I've made a couple mistakes, but. 
Hey, with 18 games, 27 hours of basketball this week, <laughs> I'm running on fumes right now. I got two Monster Energy drinks I'm working on chugging as a, a turnover in possession. Now back to Jasper. So hope everyone can cut me a little bit of slack. Uh, as they get it to Lewis in the corner, she looks inside. As Dietrich gets it over, get to Phillips into the corner. Tried to get to Hill, couldn't get it. Emerson stops in front, Lewis pushing it. Gets it to Reynolds, off to Emerson, give and go, and the bucket is good. As two and a half minutes away from Alpina. Winning our first of four games. Of course, we'll probably step away for about five minutes, get a new stream started up for the next game. Immediately after this, it is going to be Jasper and Mountain Home Christian Academy. Uh, those continue to tune in, share, like. This is all day basketball. This is like the NCAA tournament. It's game after game after game. Maybe next year we need we could do a little bracket uh, competition or something. That that might be a little bit of fun. We're always trying to think of fun things here on TLSN. As Lewis almost had the steal, Dietrich comes away, gets it over to Hill. As there'll be a pirate versus an eagle as. Lewis commits the foul. foul. That's her fourth personal. As Dietrich goes to the line for a one-on-one -on -one shot. But the Alpina Lady Leopards, congratulations to them as they will pull off a big victory here on the first game. Long three-point shot by Lewis off the back of the rim. No good. Rodas gets the board. Gets it back to Dietrich. As right now, Alpina uh, working some clock as they're holding it under a minute. Right now, I have 22. No point with Jasper fouling, but they try to go for the steal. Emerson comes away with it. Gets it off to Lewis, who drives, doesn't get the bucket. Hill ahead for Rodas, over to Phillips. But the Lady Leopards, uh, congratulations to the Alpina Lady Leopards. They win this uh, consolation game for the uh, consolation bracket. Looks like it's going to be 57 to 35. So congratulations to the Lady Leopards, 57 to 35. As we are going to uh, step away in just a minute, guys, we'll have a new stream coming up with the very next game. Uh, stay tuned here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network.